I want to see how you're doing, Lacrosse. Station at guard, throne room. Let's see what your status is. Are you a happy man? Been fine lately. Oh, you're a woman. You slept in a poor bedroom recently. You've complained about the draft lately. Admire a fine seat lately. Gave somebody water. Slept in a very good bedroom lately. Caught in the rain. Complained of lack of chairs. Been satisfied at work, though. I know you don't have much to guard right now. But we'll make those changes when they come. So we need to make some slabs here. Apparently, that's what's been holding our doors back. And I bet we make that at the mason. Our masons are pretty fully tasked right now. Perhaps it's time to make another mason's workshop. Maybe we'll make a couple of them. Doesn't really matter where we place them. Maybe later on I'll I'll move the workshops to specific areas. But we have so much going on right now, it doesn't really matter. And we had a large deposit of microlene there. If only we had that sooner. And we have quite a few statues that have yet to be placed. I have use for these statues. It goes something like this. There you go. The nobles room is going to be quite gorgeous when I'm done with it. They haven't got around to building those doors yet, but they will eventually. Like I said, that's going to be a tomb for the noble. It's not going to be set yet. They'll get around to it. Looks like we have some more dogs. Let's uh, let's train these dogs. Yeah. So we have a whole queue already for those dogs to get trained. And they've finished making all the charcoal, which is excellent. Just need to pay attention to when those human traders want to leave. Now let's finish building this floor. There's always plenty to do in our fortress. Our masons are well staffed, well employed.
So we're going to finish building these fortifications across here. I might change it up later. This is the only the this is only the idea that I have. I might just make it several stories tall. And always remember to free up one of those corners so it doesn't become a problem later. Just remember to head back there and uh, double check on it later. I know the armor is like, I need iron, I can't make anything without iron. I have everybody, all the miners tasked with mining a considerable portion of of our fortress right now. We'll get around to it. But let me show you guys you guys uh, our military. Let's go over to the mountainous howls and let's look at their equipment here. You can see that they're all pretty much equipped. We're just missing a, a few high boots. So it looks like we're missing one, two, three, four sets of high boots. And I took two people off of the of the group. So we have eight dwarves in the mountainous house. I'm anxious to get these humans out of our fortress though. They do tend to smell after a while. They are a friendlier people, definitely more dwarfy than the elves. At least they can grow facial hair. But it's always odd having these foreigners here. I'm really looking forward to the Dwarven Caravan. What did you pick up there, fella? You're storing an item in a bin, eh? Maybe it's one of those weapons that we purchased from these humans. They're not as nice as our Dwarven craftsmanship, but they get the job done. So the merchants are going to leave soon. We're going to keep an eye on them. They're going to be packing up quite soon. In preparation of this, we're going to go ahead and have the... Uh, mountainous howls post near the front. So they'll go ahead and form up there. What seems to be the problem? Are you okay? You're grumbling about long patrol duty. Maybe I can uh, reschedule. Let's see here. Looks like I have six minimum all the time, huh? It's important to have at least that many, though. Sorry, but you're just going to have to suck it up, pal. All of our gravers working very fast. They've begun to turn this fortress into a miracle. They do really good work around here. Let's go ahead and uh, 
dump the rest of this stuff here. Yeah. So they'll go ahead and dump the rest of that out. And clear all that up. We have a lot of dwarves that are not busy. Can't have that. Dwarves are happy when they're working. Why are you standing at guard and starving yourself? You know what I'm going to do? Set you to inactive for now. We don't have a, any royalty to guard yet and it'll be easier when you can move in shifts. We don't want to overtax our military. Alright, the humans want to leave. We will welcomely oblige them. Pull down the lever. Let's let these people leave. <laughs> One of our stray war dogs was crushed by a drawbridge. I think I might be rethinking the, <laughs> the way our drawbridge works here. I'll tell you what. Sorry. We're just going to remove these buildings here. Sad when those dogs get crushed. That is sad. Accidents happen all the time in this game, though. It's a learning experience, my friends. No goblins have rushed into our fortress. And look at that, another iron warhammer was made. So, all of our dwarves will be well equipped now. And let's make sure they make those iron high boots. And we needed four pairs of those, right? And uh, let's prioritize that. Let's get all our dwarves fully equipped ASAP. Now it's taken a while for those humans to uh, load up. We definitely gave them a lot of stuff. But if they would have just left them in the bins, then it would have been a lot easier for them to clean it up. Alright pal, sorry your friend got smashed by the drawbridge, but like my grandma used to say, life's a bitch and then you die. It's kind of sad, but it's true. And that takes wisdom right there. I love my grandmother. Maybe we'll build a road.